looking for a small project that also utilizes your fabric scraps, look no further than making a hair scrunchie. Making this hair accessory is fast and easy, let's get started. For supplies you need fabric scraps or fat quarters. You can use different types of fabric, but 100% cotton is the easiest, quarter inch wide elastic at least eight inches long, and all purpose thread. For tools, you'll need a sewing machine, small safety pin, pins and needles, and scissors or a rotary cutter and mat. From your fabric, cut a strip that's 18 inches by four inches. You can use your scissors or use a rotary cutter and mat. Fold the fabric in half lengthwise, right sides together, and pin along the long side. Somewhere near the center, put a pair of X pins about two inches apart. Sew a quarter inch seam allowance on your pinned edge, but don't sew between the X pins. Make sure to backstitch at all the ends. Your fabric is now a tube. Push in one side as if you're planning on turning it right side out, but stop when the ends are together. Pin the raw edges together. So I don't pull my tube all the way through. I just stop when the raw edges meet together and you can see I pin them. Now this area is way too small for me to take it to my sewing machine and sew a seam. So I'm just going to do it by hand. I have some thread on my hand needle here and I'm just gonna do a basic running stitch, which means I'm just going in and out between the two fabrics. And I'm doing it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge here. So I'm just going in and out, making sure to catch both sides. It's okay if this isn't exactly a quarter of an inch, I'm just eyeballing it. You just want it to be close. And I'm making my stitches on the small side because I don't want to have any weird gaps, which sometimes happen if your stitches are way too big. So this is just simple stitch, creating a seam here, and I'm gonna go all the way around. Through the opening, pull the whole thing right side out. Cut your elastic so it's about eight inches in length. On one end, put a small safety pin. Use a straight pin to attach the other end of the elastic to the opening of the scrunchie. Run the safety pin side of the elastic all the way through the scrunchie until you have both ends together. Overlap the edges of elastic about a half inch and pin together. At your sewing machine, stitch a zigzag stitch over the overlapped edges going back and forth a few times. Pin the opening in the scrunchie closed. For sewing our opening closed, you're going to have to grab the hand needle and thread again. And of course you wanna use a matching color, but I'm just using red so it stands out a little bit more. I'm coming up on one side of the fold and I'm just going to grab a little bit of fabric on the other side. So we're doing a slip stitch. And you wanna make your stitches on the small side so we don't end up with big gaps again. And now that I'm on this side, I'm gonna grab a little bit on the other side. So if you pull gently, you'll see my stitches start to disappear even if I'm using a contrasting color. So it shouldn't stand out too much. So I'm on this side, grab a little bit of the opposite side right on the fold, gently pull it. Go back to my first side, grab a little fabric, gently pull and do this for the whole length until your opening is closed. A scrunchie can be made in less than an hour, plus it's a great way to use those fabric pieces that seem to be too small for other projects and make fun and expensive gifts. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.